No one wants to take an urgent ride to the ER, but it certainly comforts us to know it is there when needed. The same is true for our pets. When the unthinkable happens to our furry family members, MedVet is ready to handle all those emergency needs. So in today's sponsored segment, I am happy to welcome in Dr. Jay Gladden. Thanks for being here. Of course, happy to be here. All right, so let's talk about what your role is because you're a board certified veterinary specialist and, and in emergency and critical care. So expand on that role for us, doctor, and just kind of what services you provide underneath MedVet. Yeah, so it's hard for us to think about the times where our pet might be seriously ill or injured, but when it comes to that, you really need someone who's comfortable with that sort of fine line margin of how to help these pets. And in pets that are really, really critically ill, they need full care, they need a full team, 24 hour monitoring, and we kind of have to take care of all the body systems simultaneously to get them through those really tough moments. So critical care sort of focuses on that extra round the clock, 24 hour care to get them back home with folks. And I love that you call yourself kind of that partner in veterinary care that you are in addition to to the family vet because what you do is a lot of times more specialty care. Is that right? Yeah, so it's specialized and focused, you know, our wonderful veterinarians know your pet. They're with you along the way. They kind of make sure the preventative care is in check and when they need assistance to really delve in and deal with more serious things or round the clock care, that's where MedVet and our specialty teams come into place because they need that that extra sort of help to get them through those crises and your vet's going to be there along the way and we partner with them, but it's a team effort for sure. Let's break down those crises that you're talking about a little bit because you also pride yourself on educating you know colleagues and obviously um, patients and, and consumers so let's talk about kind of what falls under that category of critical care when do you need to call for an emergency care yeah so anytime that you see your pet is very distressed if there are difficulty breathing if your pet is not responding to you if there's a really frightening episode like a seizure you know those are moments that you don't want to wait till the next day you want to reach out after hours and come through our emergency team and have our specialty team come come and, and help you and your pet because really when time's of the essence we want to get to the bottom of what's going on with your pet and help them immediately so those really sort of things that worry you at all we're gonna take that call for you and reassure you if it's something we don't need to see but when you need us we're gonna let you know and have you come in and I know that oftentimes it's um, not a simple vet visit like you mentioned these these pets may be in for kind of long-term care um, so do the animals often do they stay at med vet at that point are they ever transitioned somewhere else that's a great question no we're really fortunate so our emergency team does the work of getting that life-saving treatment to your pets right away but that's not where it ends like really you need a whole team of specialists to help guide your pet and get your pet back home because ultimately we want your pet back home with you yeah, yeah. but you you, uh, it's hard to believe your pet will have to sometimes you know stay in a hospital and so we're lucky in that we have an intensive care unit to take care of the sickest patients that 24 hours a day has specialized nurses and doctor teams that are able to provide that care so your pet if they have to stay with us has that environment where they're gonna get their needs met around the clock 24 7 and we know the pet owners are going to want to come visit is that often a big part of I mean in recovery of, yeah. of anything right is having yeah. your loved ones close to you just like us uh, you know it's it, you have a great nursing team that's caring for the pets but you know it's just amazing sometimes to see when families come in uh, an animal that has been hanging in there and not feeling well they just light up their tails wagging yeah. they often eat for their owners a lot better than um, you know just if they had nurses providing that care so we encourage and we welcome families to come in and be with their pets because that's part of the recovery process is just knowing that your people are there cheering you on too. Yeah. You see those tails of wagon I'm sure yeah, when, yeah, a, when an owner walks in. It's amazing to see. All right doctor let's talk about a common problem right now and that it's you know 85 plus even today and that's um, heat and overheating. What do you want people to know kind of about this time of year just some simple reminders that they can be aware of. Yeah I, I think the main thing to keep in mind is if you love your pets you got to love them enough to leave them at home because yeah. this sort of temperature is not safe your pets to often be outdoors in certain instances and and you know one of the things we take for granted just taking our pets places our vehicles become sort of a, a really formidable environment it's it's hard to believe even at 85 degrees that in the time that it takes for you and I to chat today you know the car can become dangerous temperatures 100 110 degrees and yeah. 
that is very, very damaging to an entire pet's body. And, and a lot of those pets we work hard to save, but we can't save them all if they get really overheated. So we just want people to know, leave them at home, leave them in the air conditioning. Yeah. They'll be excited to see you when you get back home. They got that extra layer of fur too. I yeah. mean, it, it, you know, the overheating is obviously an issue for us. It, you gotta think about them yeah. beyond that. So of course, um, if your regular vet isn't available, we just want people to always know that MedVet is there, the 24 seven critical care. So doctor, thank you for being here. Thanks. Appreciate it.